Not every interaction in TFT is working as intended. To be fair, if we consider the high amount of patches that are being implemented, then it's only natural to encounter bugs that negatively impact your game. Let's crack! In this video, I want to showcase three different interactions that can put you at a disadvantage and how to avoid them. The first bug I want to talk about involves bruisers and has existed for quite a while now. Now it's no secret that bruisers are unpopular and most players would rather have a Shen and a Terry in their front line. What if I tell you that the problem with bruisers goes a lot deeper than you think? The trait grants 100 HP to every unit and also gives out an HP multiplier to every bruiser. If you have 6 bruisers and a bunch of HP items, then you can reach quite impressive numbers. Unfortunately, there is a bug that absolutely crushes this trait. If you upgrade any bruiser or any unit with a bruiser emblem, then they won't benefit from the HP multiplier. Let me show you some extreme examples. This Lissandra has a bruiser emblem with 6 bruiser activated. She currently has 1000. 785 HP. After I upgrade her to 2 star, her HP drops to 1690. Her new HP values is simply her base plus the 150 from the emblem and the bonus 100 from the bruiser trait. At the moment, her HP does not get increased by the bruiser trait at all. This problem can affect your bruiser units as well. Upgrading this Rek'Sai puts her HP at 2139. If we put her on the bench and return her to the board, her HP will now jump to 2618, which means she wasn't receiving the full benefit of the bruiser trait. The missing HP can persist throughout fights, but you as a player can fix this bug yourself. You can reset your units by putting them on the bench and back on the board. If you refresh the bruiser trait, then the game will update to the correct values. Our second bug is a bit more known, but I still wanted to cover it. Since patch 13.15, Morello can be applied with physical damage to make the item more flexible. It is true that compared to Sunfire, the item had it a bit rough so far, so the option of giving it to a unit like Ash, who can apply it across the board, is nice. However, not every unit in the game can currently benefit from this new interaction. It's still not that easy to find a good holder for Morello, but at least in theory, Senna and Zion should be amazing with this item, since they can apply it in a large area. In a very unfortunate turn of events, exactly these two units are bugged right now and unable to to make use of the item. It's not that big of a deal and it will likely get fixed in the next patch, but for now Morello will have to wait a little bit longer until it can compete with Sunfire. Our final bug involves our good old friend Chogov. Now in the most recent patch, Chogov received a small nerf regarding his HP stacking. You used to be able to run more than one Chogov and when you upgrade him to 2 star, all the stacks would combine. This potentially gave you a great head start since in your most ideal scenario you were able to gather 5 5 stacks early from the first PvE rounds. The only problem here is that Riot established a rule for stacking mechanics in set 7 because of Olaf. Ever since, when you upgrade a unit that has a stacking mechanic, the game would check which unit has the highest stack and prioritize that one. Since it was never intended for Chogov to combine his stacks, this interaction was removed in patch 13.15. But this is not the reason for him to be included in this video. The real problem here is that you can potentially lose lose all of your stacks if you're not careful. Here we have a Chogov 1 star on the board. One has 60 bonus HP, the other one has 30 bonus HP. At the start of the next round, he auto combines into 2 star and if we check his ability, we can see that the lower value was prioritized. The trick to prevent this from happening is to always make sure that your strongest Chogov is the only one on your board and the rest are on your bench. Otherwise, you are putting your stacks at risk. While all of these bugs are quite annoying, I do want to mention that this video did take me longer to make than I anticipated because a lot of the bugs that I initially wanted to feature are already fixed on the PBE. I'm confident that the rest of them will follow soon, but for now you know what to do until the next patch. I hope you learned something and see you next time.